Hello, my beautiful fire signs. Thank you so much for joining me. This is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. This reading is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also, if you have a Venus or Mars in your natal chart in any of these signs, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. Thank you so much, guys, for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. If you do subscribe to my channel, please make sure that you click on the notification button or the little bell in the corner so that you can be immediately notified when my videos post. As you can see, I am in my new business office and it is getting uh, filled up with furniture as we speak. And so I decided to come up here and do my readings up here. The light is a little bit better. Um, I will be working on that. There is an echo as well. So I apologize for that in advance. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started with your readings. And if any of you would like to uh, purchase a personal reading with me, you can go to my new website and the link will be below. All right, guys. So what have we got going on for the beautiful Aries out there? All right, Aries, what are the energies for you for the next couple weeks. This is from November 15th to um, December 1st. Some of you Aries might be showing your hand. Okay, that just came through psychically, so just be aware of that. You might be ready to reveal something to someone else or somebody close to you. Aries, Aries. Okay, this is the Sandra Ann Taylor deck. It is the Energy Oracle card, tarot cards. Okay, Aries, I'm going to cut the deck now. I do not look at the cards. Here is your general energy, and here is the energy that is now, um, that has affected you in the past to supply the general energies that you're dealing with right now. I'm also going to pull a card from the Barbieri Tarot. This is advice. This is something you may need to accept. This could just be additional information. Also, guys, just be aware, sometimes when the cards come out and they look all great and all positive, it the, the cards guide some of, some of the messages, but if I get a psychic download, and it comes up as a challenging energy, I will say challenging. Some of these cards will come up horrible and I'll get a positive message from it. Okay, it just depends on how um, I'm going to interpret the card. I cannot censor myself when I do this, so just be aware of that. You know, um, Aries also, somebody might be revealing your hand. Okay, somebody might be revealing a secret of yours. There it is. So just be aware of that as well. That also came through. So what do we have, or maybe they're revealing their hand to you and they're letting you know kind of what's going on or what they're thinking. So what are the general energies for the Aries out there for the next couple weeks? You do have yin and yang. When you have yin and yang, this is all about giving and receiving. This is very important. If you give, you should receive. If you receive, then you should give. Okay, you need to make sure that there is um, an energetic flow between you and someone else or between you and a situation. Please do not put a lot of energy in something that does not serve you. Okay, because then you're just going to be manifesting a bunch of energies that don't serve you. Okay, you got to make sure the energies that you're putting out there are serving you, serving others, serving your you know, respect for yourself, your integrity, whatever it is. There is a lot of teamwork that is coming up. For some of you Aries out there, you are building something from scratch. So please be aware of that as well. And it is going to turn out great. I just heard that. It's going to be like, kudos, way to go, Aries. So that is definitely coming up here uh, for some of you Aries out there. There could be a combination of something happening, an integration of something that you have waited a long time for. 
This could be integration between your, your, um, your spirit, your mind, and your soul, your body, okay, your intellect. You could be finally on the same page with yourself, okay, but this could also mean that you're on the same page with groups of people, other people, a loved one, a lover, a um, family member, a work a colleague, something like that. Let me see if I'm getting anything else from this card psychically. There is something going on in your life right now, Aries, that is very volatile, okay? Something could be going on where I don't think that you guys even realize how big this is it's going to just explode. I mean, it's going to be like an explosion. Okay, so just be aware of that, um, something exploding, something going through an explosion. Uh, there could be something going on here regarding, it's almost kind of like a ticking, like a, a, like a ticking time bomb. You know, you might have energy in you where you're about to lose it. Okay, or somebody around you has energy with them that they're about to lose it. So please make sure, Aries, that you are taking time, do your meditation, try to stay as calm as possible. That is the energy that you need to um, have with you when this happens because you being in your right mind when this happens is going to stand you in good stead. Let me see what else is coming up here. What are you showing me? They're showing me a grate. So I don't know if some of you are like grating cheese or something like that, but it, it's, it's kind of similar to that, but it could be like a street grate or something like that. So be aware of that for some reason. I don't know why that's coming up, but um, especially for the women Aries out there, if you're in heels, please be careful where you're walking because you could get your heel stuck in a grate on the street or something like that, but grates have some significance, um, you know, something about to explode or something about to just go, woof. Like, I mean, you might have a project that just explodes onto the world stage or some type of an explosion, but there is something coming up here. So what do we have going on as it relates to, um, I'm getting something else, hold on the domino effect. Um, so be aware that um, all actions equal reactions or all, um, all situations sometimes require response. I just heard emergency responders. So there could be something, reg oh gosh, yeah, that's coming up, emergency responders. So there's something going on here related to that. This may very well be on the world stage as well. But um, just kind of be aware of that particular type of energy, Aries. So what are the energies that ha are influencing or cause this particular energy to manifest? Angel of balance. Now look at that. Now, some could say that the angel of balance could be justice in a way. But this is more about, I mean, you've got yin and yang and the angel of balance. There's something about something needing to be fair. So if there was something, if you've identified something that was unfair, Aries, then you need to make it fair very soon. Because if you don't, there could be an explosive type of um, response to it. There could be an explosive uh, outpouring. Somebody could... Um, Somebody might rip you a new one. I don't know why I'm getting that, Aries, but it's like either you're ripping them a new one or you or they're ripping you a new one. But there's something about needing to have that patience and that balance. And because that balance wasn't achieved or because something was unfair, somebody's about to lose it. So there's something going on here regarding this particular type of energy. Let me see if I pick anything else up here. This could be um, 
This could have something to do with the Middle East. This could have something to do right, just right after the new moon um, uh, on, you know, uh, November, right around November uh, 20th, 23rd, 24th, give or take a couple days there. But um, definitely something coming up here might have something to do with Egyptian energies as well. So um, that could be what's going on for some of you out there. Pyramids, um, some of you might be a, a pyramid scheme. So something might, somebody might be trying to sell you something for a pyramid scheme. And um, I'm sorry, but I'm being guided for you to say no on that because something could, something could backfire is what I'm getting. Um, just be aware of that. Let's see what else is coming up here. You're trying really hard, Aries, to balance your work life and your home life, your family life and your love life. And you are doing a good job, but just make sure everybody is on the same page. That is extremely important right now. That is all I am getting right now. That is it. So what is your advice or what must you accept or what are the other energies that you might be dealing with? There it is. This is the five, or I'm sorry, the eight of cups. See, the devil is behind this lady and the eight of cups is all about moving on. So, You might be moving Aries or somebody you know might be moving on. It might have had something to do with a Capricornian person in your life as well. So please be aware of that because the devil card can be Aries, Capricorn, or Taurus. So it could be um, either of those three signs. Libras might be playing uh, a significant role here as well. But there's definitely something coming up here. Aries, you put a lot of work in something that is just not paying off for whatever reason. You need to accept that and just move away from it. Something happened here where um, there was a need for balance, but the balance for whatever reason was not achieved. And either you or somebody around you is saying, you know what, I'm out of here. I can't do this anymore. I must move on. I have been through too much. I have been through, you know, too much restriction and I need to be free. Okay. I need more balance in my life. So you might be saying that Aries or somebody might be saying that to you. Let me see what else I'm getting here. Yeah. Aries, something's going on here. Somebody's protecting their heart. You could also be protecting your heart because you have a desire to keep really good balance in your life and you don't want to let anybody in if they're going to hurt you. So you're very, very cautious about who you get into a relationship with, business partnership, financial partnership, love relationship, whatever it is, you're really, um, you're really cautious right now. You're, it's, it's almost like you're walking on eggshells for some type, for some reason here. Let me see if I pick something else up. Um, some of you Aries might be going to um, a location that has a lot of mountainous um, scenery with it. Um, that kind of came in out of nowhere. It might be like the Alps, something about the Alps. I don't know. Um, it's just coming in. Uh, so be aware of it. It's almost kind of like the sound of music. Like the hills are alive with the sound of music. So for some of you Aries here in the next couple weeks, there's something about music that is significant for you for some reason. So just kind of be aware of that energy. All right, guys, that's all I'm picking up for Aries. So what is your Saturn message, your Saturn reminder, Aries? Saturn is moving from your ninth house into your 10th house. So there has been um, a lot of restriction as it relates to, you know, 
higher education, people, politica, legal, law, travel, foreign people, foreign places. There's been a constriction. There's been a need to get things straight. There's been a need to get the itinerary together. And Saturn has been testing you in this area of your life regarding travel. I am sensing for some of you Aries out there, while you were traveling, um, you may have done something um, that you regret or somebody may have done something that they regret. And um, there's some type of weird illusion that is going on here regarding this particular type of energy. It's almost like somebody's watching you, Aries. It, that's what it feels like. Somebody is watching you go through pain. Okay, so there might be somebody out there, Aries, that maybe you thought you could have had a really good relation. I'm sorry, I, I gotta go back because I'm being called back to the reading. But um, there might be somebody out there that you thought was a really good match for you, but it turns out that they were, um, they were not at all. Um, they wanted to put you in a little box and they just wanted you for them and they didn't want you to, to do anything else. Something, this person, maybe you were in a good relationship and you thought everything was fine and then all of a sudden like they're blowing up on you constantly um, and you've decided to walk away or maybe you were blowing up on them and they decided to walk away but there's definitely some type of energy coming in with this and it might have had something to do with travel, okay? So something may have happened that you regret when you were traveling and now you feel like, maybe like you're trapped or maybe you feel like um, you gotta get out, you gotta get away, you gotta, you, you gotta move, you gotta go, okay? Or somebody is feeling that way about you and they've gotta get away, they've gotta go, they've gotta you know, get out of your vicinity or something like that. But there's definitely something about travel, uh, something about regret while on travel. Maybe, maybe somebody you were traveling with, or perhaps you may have gotten a call while you were traveling, which was very um, upsetting information for you to deal with. But that's what's coming up. It might have something to do might have something to do with um, a debate or, or I don't know why I wanna say war, like war games, um, but something like that Aries is coming up. I don't know where that's coming from, so I'm just gonna stop. But uh, for you Aries, again, it's moving from your ninth into your 10th. So with that being said, <laughs> okay, it is moving into your status and your career zone. When it goes into your status in your career zone, this is all about um, you know, having that task master energy to be able to make whatever it is you wanna make come to fruition regarding your status and your career. Saturn is here to help you, but it won't be easy. Please make sure that your ninth house is clear. Make sure that your ninth house is in order before Saturn leaves on the 20th of December or right around there because Saturn generally leaves a, a gift, okay? If you have been doing the, the work that Saturn requires of you, if you haven't been doing that work, Saturn will make you go through those lessons again for the next 16 to 18 years until he gets back to the same house that he left. So make sure that that house, that ninth house of yours is in order, okay? Very, very important to understand. You also may need to clear something up with a Sagittarian person in your life. And now, as you move into the end of December, into January, Capricornian people are gonna be of great significance in your life. I don't know why I just heard this. A Capricorn might save your life, Aries. Something is coming up here regarding um, a Capricorn, um, yeah. Whoever that Capricorn person is in your life, because that's of course where Saturn is going and Saturn rules Capricorn, 
but if there is a Capricornian person in your life, they've got your back. That is exactly what I heard. Yeah, that's coming up like really strong. Okay, Aries, I hope you like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hello, my beautiful Leos. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel. So what do we got going on for the Leo people out there? What's the message for the Leos? What's the message for the Leos? All right, Leos, we are going to cut the deck. I am not going to look at them. There is your general energy. And this is the energy that is influencing the general energy or is the energy that happened that is manifesting the general energy. So we are going to get into the Barbieri Tarot here. This is additional energy, additional information, advice, what you need to accept. Okay. Whoa. Leo's. Too many cards, too many cards. Okay. Cutting the deck. There is the additional energy. All right, Leo's, what's going on for your general energies for the next couple weeks? You do have the temple path. The temple path is all about um um, your ancestors helping you out to move you into an area of your life that you need to go. Basically what's going on here, Leos, is that you are, I just heard Pennsylvania, East Coast, something going on with the East Coast, Pennsylvania. But um, what's happening here is that you are being guided to take a different path now. This is what is coming up. For some of you Leos out there, you could be thinking about marriage. Somebody around you could be thinking about marriage. Um, definitely coming up here. This could be an outdoor wedding. So that could be what's going on. Maybe you're going to attend an outdoor wedding or you have an outdoor wedding planned. There could be some sort of a reunion at a park, something like that. But overall, beautiful, beautiful energy. This does remind me of the Wizard of Oz as well. So Kansas might be of great significance for some of you Leos out there for whatever reason. Let me see what else I am picking up here. Watch your step, Leos. Uh, something uh, about needing to watch your step. So um, if you have a dark place in front of your home or in front of your apartment or wherever you live and you can't see where you're walking, you need to make sure that you can see where you're walking because you could fall, Leo. So please be aware of that. Uh, very, very important for you to understand that. You don't want to take a nasty fall. Uh, what else do we have coming up here? Some of you might be doing home renovations. There might be home renovations, um, you know, maybe a friend's doing home renovations and you're helping them or you're doing home renovations and somebody is helping you. That could certainly be what's going on here. There's something about a bike path as well. So please be aware that a bike path may be of significance to some of you Leos out there. Let me see if I can pick up anything psychically. I don't know if any of you Leos have ever seen the gong show, but basically it's where somebody performs and um, these judges decide whether or not their performance is good or their performance is bad. If their performance is bad, you know, they take the gong and the huge gong and it's like it's done because, you know, they say, okay, no, this isn't working. So for some of you Leos out there, there could be, um, some sort of um, concert you go to or performance you go to and you are not impressed at all. That could be what's going on for some of you out there. For other Leos out there, you may want to um, listen to 
like Tibetan singing bowls or something like that to clear energy out of your system because it feels to me like you've got these blocked energies that are happening right now. So you need to get those unblocked, all right, Leos? That's what needs to happen. And again, the Wizard of Oz might be of significance to some of you Leos out there for whatever reason. It's just coming up. The Tin Man. Okay, so Leos, the Tin Man is all about um, a heart. He doesn't have a heart. So Leos, you're teaching people how to have heart, okay? Or somebody's teaching you how to have heart, how to have love, how to have how to look at things, look at the bright side of things. Normally Leos do that. And I think for the majority of you Leos out there, you're doing that with somebody else, but somebody could also be doing that to you. So please be aware of that. So what are the energies that happened that are causing this temple path energy? The goddess of the moon. Okay. So the goddess of the moon is someone who is very psychic. Um, they generally are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio people. Um, there could be something very significant happening right around the new moon um, on the 18th. So be aware of that or something significant happened during the full moon. You may hear about this at a later date. So something may have culminated for someone else, but you won't hear about it until the new moon. So that could be what's going on for some of you Leos out there. Uh, this is all about um, making sure that you are not living in a land of illusion. So there could be somebody around you, Leos, that is, um, that is trying to pull one over on you or trying to pull the wool over your eyes. So be aware of that particular type of energy as well. Let me see what else. Somebody's wearing a false mask, Leos. Um, now, either you could be wearing a false mask or somebody else could be wearing a false mask, but it is coming up here. Let me see what else I'm picking up from this. There could be, I mean, look at this lady, okay? She's got this beautiful blonde hair. There could be somebody here um, in your life that has like long blonde hair and they're very significant in your life for whatever reason. And they're guiding you to your path, whether that be through helping you out with your finances, whether that be to help you out through their psychic abilities, whether that be to help you out through, um, you know, maybe uh, giving you an in to a new organization or um, a new company, that could be. For some of you Leos out there, this woman who's got this long blonde hair might be the person who is um, who makes you feel like you're complete, who makes you feel like, like you're the king of the castle or you're the queen of the castle. Now remember, it could be a guy with blonde hair too, but the thing about it is, is that there's this energy around you Leos where something is going on. Somebody is about to embark on their destiny. And I think it might be this, this blonde haired woman. Definitely. Definitely. Am I getting anything else from this? Something about being in the spotlight, Leos. So for some of you Leos, you might end up you might end up being in the spotlight. And when you get in the spotlight, you don't even know what to say. You can't even get your words out. It's like, like, how do I thank all of these people? Or, or for example, for some of you, if it's not in a good way, this could be like, you know, how did people find that out about me or something like that. So there could be something going on here, Leo's as it relates to that. Now, some of you might just be going to the salon and you know, you're getting your hair done or hair is very significant for you for some reason. Long blonde hair is very significant to you for some reason. So that might be what's coming up here. But overall, I mean, it's really beautiful, beautiful energy. I The caution here is please make sure that you are not getting the wool pulled over your eyes. Um, somebody around you might be wearing a false mask 
and just make sure that you're not living in an illusion okay very important but other than that you have got beautiful beautiful energies and um somebody is achieving their destiny in the world whether that's you or somebody else so what is the advice what must be accepted wow leos this is basically the lover's card and this is um perhaps a gemini in your life right now so you had a pisces a cancer a scorpio now you have a gemini um you know it's it's really really beautiful really beautiful and see that guy does have blonde hair the girl has dark hair but you know, she looks she looks kind of mean. Um, so this, why isn't that? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I wanted to make sure it was clear. Um, so basically what this is, now this is a Geminian person, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio person. Um, for 75% of you, it's somebody with blonde hair, 80% of you. For 20% of you, they might have uh, dark hair or whatever. But for you Leos out there, there's something going on where there is a need to understand when somebody is always there. And what that means is, what I am sensing from this is there is this goddess of the moon who's potentially psychic. And um, they are they're always there it's almost like they can read your mind and you can read their mind you feel their presence even though they don't even have to be anywhere near you you feel their presence you feel their their um energy okay now for some of you what i'm sensing here is um there could be a woman with um with dark hair short dark hair that could be um that could be going through a stage of being a little bit miffed or, or pissed off or something like that. And um, it's like she expects a lot out of you, but you really at this point don't know exactly what it is she wants and you have an idea of it. It's like you, you have an idea that, oh, well, you know, maybe she wants a, a full-blown full relationship or maybe she wants to be my girlfriend or maybe she wants to be my, you know, whatever, my wife. But the thing about it is, is that there's something regarding this person that's keeping you apart. It's definitely keeping you apart. You're there in the presence of it. You do love her. But the thing about it, and it could be a friend, it could just be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be somebody you work with, you're there for her, but she's closed off. And even though you can read one another and you can, you know, you think about them and they call you or, or um, you know, they think of you and you call them or something like that, but there's something going on here where um, you're trying to keep her in check is, is what I'm hearing. And this psychic person, this blonde or this, um, this other person is, is illuminating the path for you. They might be telling you that this person with short um, brunette hair is not your best match, or they might be illuminating for you um, some energies around this person that don't fit with this particular type of um, person where maybe there was a time where you guys were lovers or where you guys were together, but something happened potentially um, might, have, might have had something to do with Kansas or Pennsylvania. I don't know, but it's definitely coming up here. Uh, let me see what else I'm getting psychically here. Some of you are in love with a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, that's for sure. But there's somebody with short dark hair that is just you're trying to keep them in check because you're not too impressed but you almost feel obligated for some reason there's an obligation here um 
Let me see what else is going on. This could also be Leo's where this person with this short brunette hair, um, that is, um, the angels are specifically keeping this person away from you because they don't want you to absorb this person's energy because it might not be, it's almost like they're appearing to be one way, but on the inside, they're trying to, they're trying to confuse you or they're trying to manipulate a situation or they're just telling you what you want to hear. So something could be going on here. So please be careful of the false mask. That's what I was picking up with the goddess. Let me see what else. I just I just got, you know, sometimes um, they do writing, like I'll pull up a blank piece of white paper and they wrote, I do dot, I do not dot. So this could be, like I said before, Leo's where it's like, you want to marry somebody, but they don't want to marry you. Or they want to marry you and you don't want to marry them. There's something about not being on the same page, but still being there to support one another because it's out of obligation for some reason. So that's what's coming up for some of you Leos out there. Um, the blonde male or the blonde female is very, um, is very helpful. They're psychic. They're, they're able to um, give you some guidance on the direction you need to go. Um, whether they're a friend, whether they're a lover, whether they're a family member, um, they have your best interests at heart. Um, they might be dealing with stuff right now where they um, are getting psychic downloads and they don't know how to tell you. It seems like out of the blue, but then it's like you realize like they were spot on. So that could be what's going on for some of you out there. This kind of came up more for a love reading and also a warning about illusions, uh, somebody wearing a, a false mask and, um, and just, and just being aware of, of somebody that's, that's trying to deceive you, um, with something, um, perhaps for some of you, uh, Leo's out there, you have to accept the fact that this woman with this short dark hair is going to be in your life for the rest of your life. You know, maybe you got a divorce from them, but they're not going anywhere and you have to keep them in check for some reason, Leo. And you are like looking up. If you look at this, the way that this looks, see the guy, he's looking up at the goddess of the moon. So, um, that's what I'm picking up. Let me see if I pick anything else up psychically. Oh, this is getting to be long. Um, that's what they're doing, Leos. They're keeping this person away from you because they've got bad, bad, like dark energy and they don't want you to absorb it. That's all I can say. That's all that's coming through. So Leos, what's going on with your Saturn? Your Saturn, Leo, is moving from your fifth house into your sixth house. This is probably why I'm getting this message because Saturn in your fifth house of children, creativity, romance, risk taking, Saturn tested you big time in this particular area of your life. You may have gone in a, you may have gone off on a tangent thinking that you were moving towards your soulmate, but then you found out, I mean, they were, they were horrible. Okay. But then there was this other person that you let go of. And now you're like, wait a minute, that's my spiritual path. That's the direction I need to go. So that could be what's going on. When Saturn is in your fifth house, you get lessons in this area. Very important for you to understand for some of you Leos out there, because you didn't um, you didn't give this other person that chance, this, this long hair blonde person or this blonde guy, um, because you didn't give them the chance at the beginning, they are now being, their destiny is, their destiny is calling them and they are moving towards their destiny. And this may be where they are at a very far 
location from where you are. It's like you're not going to be down the road anymore. It's going to be across the country. It's going to be across the world. So they're deciding to leave. So that could be what's going on. Some There's a blonde in somebody's life that's moving or is leaving. So that could be what's going on for some of you Leos. It could even be a child. So just be aware of that. So that Saturnian energy in your fifth house there you might have had you know you might have needed somebody to take care of your pets as well make sure that your fifth house is clean okay your Saturn taught you a lot of lessons as it relates to true love who do you trust who will you trust who can you share your energy with who is going to keep your secrets who's going to keep you safe who is going to give you the type of energy that you need and who can you share your energy with back? Okay, who can you also give your energy to safely and securely? Saturn has been here to teach you that lesson. Make sure you've got the right energy in your fifth house. If it is not right, Leos, you will be um, tested and tried for the next 16 to 18 years until Saturn comes back to this house to teach you the lessons again. So you're gonna be on, on a rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So make sure that your fifth house is in order. Now it's moving into your sixth house of health, well-being, reputation in the world, daily duties. You are going to be tasked with things that are really going to try your patience, Leos. You're gonna to have to change your schedule. You're going to have to change everything. You're going to have to change. You know, you got to look at your reputation. What are you putting out there for other people to see? Because right now, you, you do have the North Node in your sign. Rocket Leos, do not put a bad image out there. It will affect you. Be the leader that we need you to be. All right, especially with Saturn going into the home sign of Capricorn. Okay. So there could have been lessons with a Sagittarian person, and now there's gonna be lessons with a Capricorn person, or a Capricorn person might be of great significance as it relates to the types of lessons you need to learn. All right, Leos, I hope you like this reading. I'm sorry it went so long. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so long. I still have to do Sages. All right, guys, I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hi, Sagis. How are you? It is B. So what are the energies for the Sagis for the next couple weeks? What are the energies for the Sagis? Okay. I'm going to cut the deck. Here is your general energy. This is the energy that is uh, affecting the general energy. So basically, the energy from the past that is, is now manifesting as the current energy. And then I'm using the Barbieri Tarot for the clarifier or the advice or what you need to accept. Okay, I'm cutting the deck. And there it is. All right, guys, what are the general energies for the Sages out there for the next couple weeks? Storm warning. Interesting, Taurus had this in the exact same position. So Sages, there might be a Taurus of great significance to you right now for whatever reason. This person might be bringing in a little bit of um, stormy energy. Uh, Sages, if you are traveling, please make sure that there are no, no storms in um, the area. Uh, make sure that you have your backup. Uh, make sure that you have your, um, you know, uh, like your generator, everything like that. There's another storm coming. Um, I don't know when it's gonna hit, but it might come out of the blue. It might even surprise some of the weather people. <laughs> um, you know, like the meteorologists are like, where'd that storm come from? But it's definitely coming up here, and it's going to be—it's it, it, going to be a—it's going to be a humdinger for sure. Um, the other thing here, as it relates to storm warning, um,
something is about to radically change. So somebody might be coming up to you and say, I'm leaving the company. Somebody might be coming up to you and saying, I'm leaving the relationship. Somebody might be coming up to you and says, and says, you know, I'm moving and you just can't believe it. You just can't believe it. It's just like storm warning. There could be somebody around you, Sagittarius, that is extremely angry at you and they are vengeful towards you right now. This is not a good energy to have at all. Okay. But there's definitely something coming up here where you've got to be really, really careful with the types of people you hang out with. And um, please make sure also that um, if you're doing any sailing or any water sports, please be careful. Uh, make sure that the fuses are working appropriately, like the engine is, is really good and ready to go. Um, you don't want to get caught out in a storm. So it's important for you to understand that Sagittarians, um, tornadoes also are coming up again. I don't know why tornadoes are coming up, but they're coming up. So that could be of great significance for some of you out there with it's not tornado season, but something's coming in here like a cyclone, something about cyclones might be, um, might be of, of significance to you. Um, however you want to use that. Let me see what else I pick up psychically here. Pay attention on the road, um, Sages. Uh, make sure you're paying attention on the road. Um, try not to drive during uh, inclement weather because um, you might have to navigate a little bit, getting through it, and um, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough, like rough seas, rough storm, rough, rough energy for you to deal with. What else? That's really all I'm getting, guys. This is very much like tower energy. So something is coming out of the blue and you're not expecting it. So what, why is this happening? What energy has happened causing this storm warning energy? Third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. The third chakra is all about the solar plexus. This is all about people's value. This is all about being valued. So for some of you Sages out there, maybe you were being devalued at work. You were being devalued in a relationship and you are saying, I have had enough, I am out of here. Now, for some of you Sages out there, somebody could be saying that to you. They could be going to you and saying, you know what, um, I am going to uh, a new job where I am valued for what I bring with my strengths and I am leaving this job and you might be the boss, Sag, and you're gonna have to say, how am I gonna get this, how am I gonna get this person replaced? They were like one in a million. Why did they leave? What happened? And you're going to be doing research to figure out why this person left because you are concerned because it seems like it's, it's, it's getting to be a trend and you're like, we've got to do something regarding this trend because everybody just like, there's this mass exodus. That's what I'm hearing. Mass exodus, either work or in your hometown or in your Whatever it is, you know, there's this mass exodus. So be aware of that. But this, like I said, for you, Sages, this could be you standing in your own integrity, your own self-worth and saying, I am done. I am not taking this anymore. I might end up rocking the boat here, but I got to do what's best for me. So that's definitely coming up. So what energy do you need to accept or what is the advice for um, the next couple weeks? Wow. The Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is all about um, walls and the guards going up. Persevering, having gone through massive pain, massive loss, massive deception, massive um, unforgiveness. I don't know why I'm hearing unforgiveness, but there's unforgiveness going on here. And this has made this person stronger. 
And now that they're stronger, they have got a whole army of dragons behind them, of people behind them that are going, you go, you go girl, you go guy, we got your back. All right. And so if it's you, Sag, is that, that is represented by this, you will create quite a storm when you leave or when you say enough is enough. If this is somebody coming towards you and they are leaving and they are saying enough is enough, I would not mess with this person because this person has got so much clout behind them that it could destroy you. Okay, or what they have behind them is more massive than you could ever think. So say, for example, Sag, is you've got somebody coming in, they say, you know, I'm leaving, I'm going somewhere else. And they don't tell you where they're going or whatever. And you're like, no, you need to stay. You know, we're, you know, we're this company and why would you ever leave this company and so on and so forth. But what you don't realize is they're probably going to work with one of the top three companies in the country, in the world. Okay. So, you know, where you think your company, maybe in your small town is like the shiznit, right? And you're like, you would never leave. You would never go. We're everything that in a bag of chips. I mean, we're awesome. We're the best. And they're like, I'm sorry. You know, I, I have got a significant position. They value me for who I am. I am out of here and nothing you can do is going to tear me away from this group of people that I have now found camaraderie with. Okay. So be aware that um, if you are the Sag that this person is coming towards and they're leaving you, it is because they are in a more powerful position. And it is because when they were with your company, they were not appreciated, they were not utilized appropriately. And that's why they're leaving. Um, if this is you Sag, this means that you're going to a bigger company, you're gonna have more clout, and you're going to make it rain, so to speak. All right, Sages, there we go. Uh, what is your Saturn reminder? Uh, Sag, Saturn is leaving your first house. Thank goodness. Saturn has been here tasking you, challenging you, teaching you lessons as it relates to your identity, how to appropriately put your identity out into the world. Who are you, Sag? Make sure that when Saturn leaves on December 20th, that your first house is in order. This has everything to do with your identity. If you are not clear with your identity, Saturn will teach you these lessons over and over and over again for the next 16, 14 to 16 or 16 to 18 years until Saturn comes back to your first house. He is moving into your second house of Capricorn. So a Capricorn person might be there to teach you a significant lesson as it relates to your self-value, your self-worth, the money you make from the company you work for, or the money you make from the business you own. Please be ready. This will not be an easy ride, but you can do it. Make sure your first house is clear because when Saturn leaves, he gives a great abundant gift. If your house is a mess, he will make you go through the lessons again. All right. Okay, guys, I hope that you like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.